Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to change your custom survival map into a horde mode map. So this is pretty simple. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create uh, two versions of your map. For this, I'm going to be using test map. There's nothing really in it. I really haven't made any changes to it. But what you're going to do is you're going to make a second map and it needs to have the same size. The only difference needs to be that um, it needs to be in horde mode. So I'm going to make test map horde. If I can spell it right. Horde. There we go. And then it's going to be small just like test map. But we want it to be in horde. Which is still currently in alpha but hopefully you know it won't make a big deal once horde goes into like normal use beta or whatever so that's what you want to do now you're gonna create this as well so let's say I built you know stuff on here I really haven't it's empty but um, for demonstration purposes I'll add a little terrain it's not not a big deal I'll add some terrain and some material to that so that you can see that it's uh, it copies over pretty well. So you got your custom map here. This is the lame custom map. You know this is what we're working with. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to want to exit the unturned game, and you're going to want to navigate to your unturned files, and then inside of that to the maps. Now I would always suggest that you back up your maps. I just made another full folder here and it's just called maps backup and I just back everything up there so definitely back up your maps so here are our two maps that we created test map which is my original survival and test map horde which will become the horde version of my map now what I'm gonna do to make this simpler is I'm gonna open up test map horde in another window and I'm just gonna have them side by side so you can see like the difference of the, uh, the data inside them. So okay, from what I found out from messing with the map files is that inside the level.dat, now if you open it up, try to edit it, it's gibberish. It's not gonna work. Um, it's because it's encrypted and uh, no, I don't wanna do that now. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. But actually what this is is Part of this, uh, probably one line of this, is the map size, and the other map, the other part of it, is what type of map it is. Now, I mean, this is just extra information. You don't really need to know about that, but you know, just so you know, if you ever wondered what was in this, that that's what it is. And maybe the map name might be in there. No, no, I don't think so. I think the map name is stored somewhere else. So, we got this now can't copy this over because this is still uh, survival so we're gonna have to use this but what we can copy over is all of this this is all the map data we can copy and paste over and we'll just replace the files and pretty much what this does is it takes a copy of everything all the settings from the editor all the settings in the environment level spawns terrain takes all the heights all the the pasted materials all the items all the objects and it pretty much puts them over here and it tricks the game and makes them think all this stuff is now in a horde map so now we can test this out um, I'll open up uh, unturned again and you can also copy the map over I didn't I mean you, you can do that but now if you go into the workshop both of those maps will still be there this one's still a uh, horde this one's still survival. If you if we go inside this one, it'll still look the same. Nothing will have changed. So that's the nice thing. It preserves both copies. But now if we go into this one, which should have been blank because we just created it, it's now gonna also have the the height map data and any objects and any spawns you place will be here as well. So yeah, simple as that guys. Pretty much create another copy of the map except make it exactly the same height and make it horde mode and copy all that data over that's pretty much all it takes so yeah that's as simple as it gets 
So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you got any other questions, please comment them below. I can uh, address them one by one, or if it's a big question, I mean, I'll do a video on it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.